Our persons of the week. Where were you 45 years ago this weekend? 125 million Americans were right in front of their TV watching this moment. July 20th, 1969, the number one song in the country was In the Year 2525 by Zager and Evans. Sock it to me time. Number one TV show. Sock it to me. Laughing. But on that day, 45 years ago, more than a half a billion people across the world were glued to their TV sets. And those famous words from Neil Armstrong. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And right there with him, Buzz Aldrin, another American hero. And tonight, he reveals to us some of what we didn't know, starting with his nickname. Turns out it came from his sisters, who, when they were really young, couldn't pronounce brother. And so what would come out? Buzzer? Baby brother. She couldn't baby buzzer. And buzzer would soon become Buzz. And all these years later, Buzz reveals that they had actually put odds on their trip. They knew they were truly risking their lives. What were the chances that you thought you were going to be able to successfully land on the moon? Good question. So we figured it was about 60%, which we did. Not, not bad. The morning of liftoff, a breakfast of steak and eggs. The three astronauts, Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz, then walking to board their mission. The last one. The last one there. Yeah, Mike You're Collins. Waving. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. He says he will never forget the moment he stepped foot on the moon. So I get down the bottom, and I with great confidence, jumped up, but I, and I didn't quite make the bottom. And for all the boys and girls across America tonight, a message. If they told so, you they had a dream, what would you say? Uh, you'll find something, but you have to really concentrate on what it is and give it everything you've got. Give it everything you got. And so we choose Buzz Aldrin and that great team.